child or family member may be a part of our program, but we were blessed by Ms. McFadden and, you know, her willingness to do a program over here called the Young Men of Excellence, and it included fifth, fourth, and we had a few third graders sprinkled into the program. Um, I want to thank Mrs. Belize, too. Thank you for letting us use your room. Clap it up for Mrs. Belize as well. Thank you. So, the program was a leadership program where we just wanted to expose the boys to what it is to establish identity, um, become a leader, have vision for your life, and just make overall better choices. And I'm seeing some of our guys in here, and it was quite the ride this school year. You know, some days were better than others, but I am very appreciative that you all completed the program and that you all finished in excellence. So, young men, do yourself a favor and clap it up for yourself. <laughs> Our first program participant, this young man has a great personality. Um, he can be a bit boisterous sometimes, but we appreciate him, his energy, his charisma, continue to have it. Mr. Maurice Hall, come on down, sir. upset with me. Uh, this next young man, I believe he's here. Um, he was one of the more interesting students in our program. Uh, he definitely kept me occupied, but when he was engaged and locked in, we were able to get a lot out of him. Uh, is Mr. Jason Gomez, is a Gire here? Okay, sorry. Now, this next student, was always on time, he was pretty much always engaged and always helpful. He would ask questions, sometimes he'd ask if he could go leave and go do something else, but we shut that down rather quickly. But, Ryland Johnson, come on down. Sir. One of our more energetic program participants, when the weather started to break uh, and we started to do some activities outside and you know, we would have like some free time so we might throw the football, shoot some hoops or play soccer and I knew I opened up a door that I wouldn't be able to shut. <laughs> he loved to go outside, he loves to be active, he loves to play soccer, um, but he's very smart and I know he has a bright future. Alexis Ramirez, come on down sir. here a few years ago and some of the students who are now fifth graders were maybe second or third because we had a lot more younger kids a part of the program so it's cool to see them grow uh, and this young man kept me very very busy he always kept me on my toes in fact him and his brother did Aiden Scott come on down sir. This next young man was a part of our program that we did some years ago, and he also kept me on my toes. Uh, he's one of the young men who, you know, I saw him grow, so we saw him as a youngster. Now he's elevating and on his way to middle school here soon, and, you know, we were glad that he came and became one of our leaders of the group when he wanted to be, because he has that much influence. He can influence the group one way or another. So we're hoping that you will continue to choose to influence in the right way. Tyler Sullivan, come on down. This next young man uh, is very funny. He's smart, has big personality, and I think if we continue to believe in him, that he can continue to go far, and he just has to keep making good choices. But we know he has the potential, and I believe in you, and I'm sure your family and friends believe in you. Mr. Andre, we are going This next young man, I would say he was probably one of the most interactive students that we had. Whenever we had to do an activity, he was always doing it, trying to do it to the best of his ability. 
And I could just hear him saying, Mr. Jameson, Mr. Jameson, Mr. Jameson, because he would always ask me questions or want to be engaged. When we had something to do, he would get it done. And sometimes he would ask, like, can we go now? Can we go outside? Can we play soccer? But I'm, I'm happy that you were committed. You are a leader. Continue to be a leader. And just stay focused. Francisco! This next young man, um, I knew from the day that I met him and when he was recommended to be a part of the program that he would be one of our leaders, that he would be committed, and that he had the potential, like another student, to kind of sway the group either way, whether he was locked in or if he wasn't maybe locked in that day. But every time I needed someone to answer something, he would raise his hand, he would answer and give me a lengthy, a lengthy answer, even if I just needed like one word, he, he would explain everything. But continue to have that thoroughness in everything that you do and what you say, continue to be a leader. I see you over there in the corner. Papa Ajayi. This next young man, he has the personality, the charisma. He kind of got a little swag to him, too. Where is he at? He got a little swag to him. I'm like, how old is this kid? You know, he sometimes, because his brother was a part of the program, sometimes he would have to kind of keep his brother in line. But I just see so much drive in him. I see so much future possibilities in this young man. And like I said, he's swaggy. Everybody say swaggy. Swaggy! So when this next student comes up here, can y'all do this? Just say swaggy for me. Joe Cooper! Swaggy! When you think about students who don't really have much to say, or who are kind of more timid, quiet, even kill, um, you may think like, hey, am I doing something wrong? You know, am I not connecting? But really that could just be the personality of the student. And when I got to know this young man, I was, you know, a bit alarmed at first because I'm like, well, is it something I'm doing? Because he was kind of just to himself. But I know that he was there every single day, every time we met. He did everything needed to the best of his ability, even if it kind of drove him out of his comfort zone. And despite him maybe not saying that much, inside of him, he has a lot. And so I'm believing in you. I want you to keep staying focused and keep being who you are. Fidel! display excellence at times. And so, uh, Mr. Amari, where are you at? I can't find you. Oh, you're from. Amari, stop. Now, this next young man was actually late getting into our program. So there were some students who initially were part of the program, and they were like, yeah, this isn't really for me. And that's okay. But then there were some students who were either placed or asked to be a part of the program. And this young man, when he was there and when he was engaged, I could see that he was really trying and that he wanted to be great. He's funny because he made me laugh quite a few times. I'm looking at him right now and he looks really good today. Can y'all give a round of applause for Zion? And that concludes the program participants. 